Welcome students. Today we're going to be jacking up a Beechcraft Duke. This aircraft is twin engine pressurized cabin, turbocharged, and it gets about four miles per gallon. It costs the owner about a thousand dollars an hour to operate, and he got real old and uh, decided to donate it. And so you're lucky enough to have an airplane to work on. So today I'll show you how to jack this aircraft up. We keep the jack pads in the nose baggage compartment. The baggage compartment is always kept locked. During flight, you never want to have your baggage compartment open because if this thing flips open, you're going to have a lot of aerodynamic drag which will disturb the airflow of the rest of the airplane and your baggage may come out and do some damage to the aircraft and also may get <coughs> caught up in the propeller. So I will unlock it. And then, if you take the top part of that, the center top part of the latch and flip that, flip it up, and then you can flip up the bottom part. Push here, where it says push, flip the whole latch. And here you have a safety latch. In case you ever forget both of these, a safety latch should keep everything closed and inside the baggage compartment. So you just push your finger in there and push it in, and you can open this up. There's a holder right here that plugs right into a hole and you can hold it open that way. There was an additional baggage door holder installed at a later date. And it's only a spring. It's added on, it's not factory and not original, but it's just a spring, just another type of baggage holder, and it works good, but you wouldn't wanna, you wouldn't wanna uh, accidentally hit yourself in the head with it because if you flip that, it's gonna hit you in the head. So uh, don't do that, okay? Best to use this latch. Okay, inside the back in the nose compartment, we keep three jack points. They are threaded and pointed, and they screw in to the belly of the aircraft. One in the nose and two on the wings. And I'll show you where they go. The nose gear jack point screws in to the fuselage just aft of the nose gear doors, right in the center of the landing gear well. So it threads right in here, and you twist it down, until it won't go anymore. And once it's engaged all the way, screwed in, you're good. The main jack points are located along the rear spar of the wing, just inboard of the wing rut, right at the fuselage wing fitting. It has a placard that says jack point and you screw it in as far as it goes. These are the jacks we jack up the Duke with. They have wheels on them so you can roll them around. And when you put the weight of the airplane on it, the springs inside the jack legs will compress. So once you put the weight of the airplane on it, it'll settle down to the ground and stay put. But for moving around the hangar, it's riding up on its wheels with the help of the springs. Here's an on-off valve, open-close valve, actually. You close the valve, you pump the handle, and you jack your airplane up. It has a safety pin here. So once you get it to the proper level, you install the safety pin. That way, hydraulic fluid will keep it held in the right spot, but also your safety pin will be an additional lock. So once your airplane gets to the right spot, you see this hole right here? This pin will slide right in there. So I'm gonna turn it around, I will slide it right in there. And right now, even with the weight of the airplane on it, even if it lost hydraulic, if the line blew and you lost hydraulic pressure, the airplane would still stay up. But normally you keep that closed. So that way you have the sheer strength of the pin and you have hydraulic pressure holding it. There are also two additional locks here. And what these do is screw into the side of the barrel here and hold it extra steady because this piston here will, will flop around. 
When you're going to lower an airplane, you loosen these two friction locks, and then you have to go up or down a little bit. You have to get that where you can easily slide the pin right out of the hole. If you have a lot of weight on that, you won't be able to slide the pin out of the hole. Because if the weight of the airplane's on it, and I try to slide out the pin, you won't be able to pull it. So you may have to jack it up just slightly to relieve the weight off the pin, make it easy to slide it, get it out of the way. And now your airplane's ready to lower. What you can do is turn this handle. Now, if you just grab it and twist it quickly, there's gonna be an airplane right here, and it's gonna come slamming on your head, and you're gonna get lower and lower and lower until it breaks your neck. So why not sit real low when you're lowering an airplane, get down lower than the jack, and then when you're turning a jack handle, you don't just grab it and flip it like that. You have to break it open slowly, otherwise this airplane will fall quickly. You have a lot of weight there, and it's just gonna push the fluid right into the reservoir. So grab it with both hands, and using arms, very slowly open the valve, and it'll allow the airplane to come down. But never give it a quick flip. The plane will come down so fast, it's gonna hit you in the head real hard. So we're gonna put them under the airplane and show you how to jack it up. Place the jack directly underneath the jack pad and jack it up and allow the jack to support a little bit of weight. Right now the springs on the jack wheels are compressing and that's good, you can stop right there. When jacking an aircraft, sometimes the jack is a little taller than the jack point. And so what I have to do is lift the airplane up a little bit. Sometimes you have to move an airplane up a little bit higher to get the jack under. You have to find the main spar of the wing, and it is located right here. You don't know what or where the main spar is, and don't do it. But once you found that main spar, you can often put your butt right under it, and I can shift this and lift it up a little bit. There. Now, the jack will fit underneath. Okay, put that in. Okay. Good. Pump the jack handle, put a little bit of weight on it, and hold it right there. Go. And now the aircraft is ready to jack. When jacking an aircraft, jack it level and smoothly. You don't want to jack the airplane and rock it. People have rocked airplanes right off the jacks. So you need to adjust your jacking rate where you don't shake the airplane. So let's begin jacking. I'm already off the ground. Okay. Did you need to catch up? 
if the aircraft is not level, have the observer call it out to the people who are jacking. One person may have to go faster, one person may have to go slower. That looks level now. Actually, that looks a little too high. <laughs> one pump left. The same amount of holes on this one. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. I looked that over. And I, I guess it's perfect. Four. Make any fine adjustments that you need to so that you can engage the safety pin. Once it's engaged, tighten the additional lock nuts. Release the lock pins and pump the handle to relieve the pressure on the safety pin. Now that that is clear, you can very carefully grip that thing and allow the airplane to come down slowly. Good. Okay, now we're going to do it together. I'll have a view from the front. When lowering an aircraft, it's important to go evenly. You can watch one another, you can watch each other's tire coming down to the ground level, or you could count safety pin holes on the jacks and always have an observer looking to call out to you if there's any problem. So we'll lower this thing all together now. What I'm going to show them is how the struts have a lot of friction and you need to shake them to drop them down. So they maybe an inch or so, an inch or two of the lower your jacks, and I'm going to shake the airplane. Okay, drop it down. Drop it down a little bit. But don't move the jacks from the same position. Okay? You can grab the cylinder and pull it down a little bit if you want to see how there it is. When lowering an aircraft, oleo struts often have a lot of friction, and so you may be lowering the jack and it comes away from the jack point. But we need to grab the wing, push down on the top of the wing to compress the oleo struts a little bit. I'll push down. Push down the other one. And once you have compressed the oleo struts and rocked them around, then lower the jack all the way and then remove it from underneath the aircraft. Once you have compressed the struts and you're sure the plane has shifted or lowered as, as it's going to go, then get the jack down completely compressed and then remove it from underneath the aircraft. Oleo struts have friction in them and they often need to be rocked around to get to its lowest position.
you wouldn't want the airplane to shift and then drop real low and then you dent the bottom of the aircraft. Make sure you remove all the jack pads on the aircraft. If you don't, they will unscrew themselves and fall out. And guess how much damage they'll do when they hit a car in Mission Valley. One jack pad was left on many years ago. It fell off in flight and it went right through a brand new Ford Mustang through the roof and through the floor and into the pavement. So uh, always remember to remove the jack pads. If they hit you in the head, you're gonna be in big trouble. After you removed all the jack pads, put them away in the plastic bag, leave it there for the next student. Always read the maintenance manual first. The maintenance manual will have instructions on how to jack an aircraft. This airplane is very, very stable on jacks. When you jack it up, you can actually crawl into the cabin and don't have to worry about it falling off the jacks. It's very, very stable. You're going to run the landing gear up and down. You're going to learn how it works. Most groups spend six hours on this aircraft learning the landing gear system. So we're going to be getting in depth as to how this airplane landing gear works. So we're going to be learning that, so uh, well, that'll be in the next video. So we're going to put this away. We're going to close the nose and baggage compartment. Latch it. And you're going to lock it. You never want that to fall open and fly open in flight because the airplane may not be controlled.